There is a belief out there that if you get birth right, you could almost get the whole world right. And this book builds upon that. The book contains my knowledge as an obstetrician, a scientist, but also the intuitive knowledge that I gathered during pregnancy and also in becoming a mother. Science is very useful in measuring knowledge, but sometimes what is most relevant and useful to a woman lies in her intuition, and this is measured in a different way. I suppose the crux of my book is that the circumstances that are around you when you're in your mother's womb, the way you are born, the way you are nurtured by your mother and breastfed, go on to affect your health in adult life. Science now backs this, and we know now that one of the birthing hormones, oxytocin, is not only responsible for contracting the womb and propelling the baby out, but is one of the most important hormones for positive emotions. We know that oxytocin is responsible for our feelings of love, trust, generosity, and the social scientists are calling it the molecule of social cohesion, which means that when the hormone is running high in individuals and society, society comes together, collaborates and harmonizes rather than fragments and fall, falls apart. When a woman is in a totally normal birth, then the levels of natural oxytocin are very high in her brain and these are reinforced for life and there are the knock-on effects on nurturing the baby and feeding the baby. I suppose in summary it is easier or wiser to build a healthy and emotionally stable individual from pregnancy onwards rather than repair a damaged adult. Nature has already got the blueprints for developing healthy, good-hearted individuals. And good-heartedness builds healthy relationships, good workplaces, good institutions, good countries, and that's why I've called this book The Heart in the Womb.